Pandora's box just open against billionaires taking advantage of legal loopholes to avoid taxes? What fascinating facts might be hidden inside? A new data leak has revealed the secret financial dealings of some of the world's richest and most powerful people. This top secret data shows how world leaders, business tycoons, wealthy families, billionaires worldwide, and celebrities employ various methods to avoid taxes. It has since been termed the Pandora Papers. Of course, you might be scratching your head wondering what on earth this term means. But we made this video to tell you everything you need to know about the Pandora Papers, how the rich actually hide their wealth, and how these strategies make them avoid taxes. Yes, it's top secret, so get comfortable and stick with me till the end. Once again, this is your favorite finance channel, ICE, where you get to learn all the ins and outs of investing, e-commerce, and entrepreneurship. If it's your first time here, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. The more money you make, the more you have to pay taxes, right? At least that's what the government had made us believe. But that's not quite the case when it comes to the wealthy and powerful. So here's the catch. The ultra-rich have typically taken advantage of some of the rules in the tax code to lower their tax rate or even avoid paying them altogether. More and more people began to become aware of this and eventually lots of ways were discovered and eventually disclosed, even with the names of the fraudsters tied to their crimes. The documents uncovering this are called the Pandora Papers. The Pandora Papers are the result of a well-documented investigation by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. This investigation contains 11.9 million documents with 2.8 terabytes of data on how the ultra-rich hide their fortunes from law enforcement and high tax rates. This data got leaked to different news corporations like the DW Turkish News. It took 600 journalists from over 100 countries to bring out the Pandora Papers. No one knows exactly when the ICIJ began their investigation, but it contains over decade-long revelations on these billionaires. Let's take a step back and talk about the ICIJ and why they did this. The ICIJ. For years, many journalists have tried to follow the money flowing in and out of the hands of these ultra-rich citizens. This is to find out where the money is going to, who it's going to, why it's going there, and unravel all their shady dealings. But sometimes, with power, the deepest trails are swept away. The ICIJ is a global organization that has a lot of information with many links to top private investigative bodies around the world. They've been responsible for many investigations like the Mauritius leak, the China cables, the Panama Papers, and now the Pandora Papers. Pandora Papers. So the ultra-rich safeguard their wealth from taxes through different methods. One of these methods is by owning offshore accounts. They transfer their assets outside the country that generates the money and put them into offshore accounts in countries with low tax rates. In most cases, they create a complex chain of linked accounts to their assets that it's almost impossible to track down. Let's talk about some other interesting stuff contained in the Pandora Papers. In 2018, Amazon pulled in over $230 billion in global revenue, yet its tax paid for that year was zero dollars. They paid absolutely nothing to the government. In 2020, more than 50 of the biggest companies in the US also paid zero dollars in taxes, some of which include FedEx and Nike. Well, the case of Nike is quite surprising because their slogan is just do it, right? Well, I guess they didn't do it this time. You might be wondering why the government doesn't serve them a hefty fine or sanction them. The thing is, it's actually legal. There are two slightly different phenomena. One is called tax evasion and the other tax avoidance. Tax evasion versus tax avoidance. Tax evasion is an illegal act of deliberately not paying all the taxes that you should pay. At the same time, tax avoidance is the arrangement of the financial affairs of a company to reduce the tax liability to pay. The critical part is tax avoidance is completely legal. So now you can see why the government can't do anything. It's because these ultra-rich billionaires are all under the tax avoidance scheme. The offshore account method of hiding assets that we discussed earlier is one of joining the tax avoidance scheme. There are other ways these billionaires do it. Warren Buffett Let's use Warren Buffett to explain other methods of tax avoidance. Of course, you know Warren Buffett, undoubtedly one of the finest investors this world has ever seen. He is an estimated net worth of $102 billion and is the owner of Berkshire Hathaway. When he took over the company in 1965, a single share was worth $19. In 
Fast forward to today, and a single share is now worth $421,000. Buffett owns more than 240,000 of these shares, and that's where his wealth lies. With that much money, Buffett still pays lower taxes than his secretary. He said this himself. It's not because his secretary is such a good citizen, it's because Warren and his company are under the tax avoidance scheme, and his tax payable is based on his assets and stock value, not his income like his secretary. So while Warren's secretary pays almost 37% in taxes per year, Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and all other billionaires have to pay a maximum of 20% in taxes. And just to repeat why, it's because these ultra-rich people don't make money from a direct income, but from the growth of their stocks and companies. So the only time they pay taxes is when they sell a part of their stock. So no sale, no taxes. Stepped up basis. The ultra-rich also include wealthy families that have been holding generational wealth for many years. How do they manage to evade taxes too? It's pretty simple. They use a method known as the stepped up basis. If, hypothetically, Warren does not sell any of these stocks until he dies, whoever inherits his stocks and then sells it would only have to pay tax from when they inherited it to when they decided to sell it. So all the gains on the stocks from when Warren held them will go untaxed. And that's billions of dollars going back into the pockets of the family. It's perfectly balanced between a thin line separating legal from illegal. Final thoughts. After the Panama Papers were released in 2016, some public officers resigned with new legislation released on offshore assets. And now, with Pandora Papers, which is similar to Panama Papers, what should we expect? Well, President Joe Biden has taken bold action by increasing the maximum tax payable by these billionaires from 20% to 39.6%. This is for anyone making more than a million dollars a year in the United States. While this might make billionaires sell less of their assets, the truth is that it will bring in more revenue for the US government, from the average $213 billion to $400 billion in 10 years. It also means Buffett would pay a closer tax rate to that of his secretary, although the bulk of his money, offshore accounts, stocks, and assets will still go untaxed. The system is basically making the rich richer, while the poor and the middle class poorer. It's a scandal more than a criminal investigation since it's taking advantage of legal loopholes which technically is not illegal. Maybe it's morally wrong, but it's not illegal. Well, that ends our video today. What is your opinion on tax avoidance? Should there be more laws regarding what activities are illegal? Let us know in the comments. Thanks once again for watching and staying with us till the end. If you found this video interesting, feel free to give us a big thumbs up. Share and subscribe to the channel for more exciting content. See you in the next one. Bye for now.